Hello, you over 3,000 amazing people and the 82.5% who yet to subscribe. Change it. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at another hotness unit, um, and it's going to be the Agridon Lancers for the Seraphon. Probably, in my opinion, one of the best cavalry units in the game right now. They are nuts. <laughs> So Agridon Lancers, why are they great? Why are they mental? Why should you have at least a unit of six in your Seraphon army? Well, for a start, they're 210 points for three models. So they're relatively cheap when it comes to cavalry that really are nuts. So about 420 points for a unit of six. It's an absolute steal. Now you can buff this even more by bringing a veteran um, on a, an Agridon, which you don't really need. Um, they kind of perform pretty well without him. Um, now, they, the veteran will trigger the rage mechanic, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in, in a second. Um, but you don't necessarily need him. You, these guys work perfectly well without him. This unit has a potential of pumping out at least nine attacks each model. So, you know, you've got a unit of six, that's 54 attacks. That's mental. And most of those on the charge are going to be doing two damage a piece. So whatever they hit fully buffed, they're going to kill. Um, and there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with these. So first up, they've got a four up save, which is pretty respectable for a lizard, considering it's not wearing any armor. They have a movement of 10. This can be changed to 12 using the battle traits of the Seraphon army. Um, and the way they work, if you really want to go into them, you can check out my Seraphon Deep Dive video and I go into all of these uh, in depth. But essentially you pick um, you pick like a rule that you can do and then you have like a little sort of quest in your game, a little mission uh, that you can achieve and then it allows you to pick a, another one later on. One of those that you can do is to have your Seraphon army move an additional two inches, which is quite nice, which means then you're moving 12. They have a, a whopping five health each, which is crazy. Considering that most cavalry um, is looking at three wounds, you have some that are on four, but these guys are on five, which is just bonkers. Uh, so like, again, you know, a unit of six, that's, that's like 30 wounds in one unit, which is really, really hard to chew through. And then they've got a control factor of two, which is really quite good when it comes to taking the objectives. So... All of their main rules are stacked into the rider. Obviously, they're plus one on the charge. They're anti-monster, plus one rend, which does come in really well. A unit of six of mine one-shotted a bloodthirster on the charge. It was absolutely glorious. Now, there is another unit that we will be covering later on in the series um, from the Seraphon, which are just as bonkers at killing monsters as what these are. But we'll stick to these for now. The real star of the unit, though, is the Agridon itself. Now, out of all of the mounts in the game that I've seen so far, the Agridon is probably by far the best because it's kind of like, well, it's a dinosaur. It's a big giant ass raptor, but it, it's way better than a horse. So a horse stat line, in most cases, you're hitting on threes and you're going to be wounded on fours. It has no rend and it does one damage, and it's pretty meh. The Agridon itself has three attacks. It hits on fours. It wounds on threes. It has a rend of two, and it does two damage. Now, that hitting on fours can be problematic, but obviously with an all-out attack, that will knock that down to a three, and it's three attacks. For now. So their main thing, their main rule, is Primal Rage. So every time this unit has a fight, does a fight ability, it gains a, range to a Rage Token to a maximum of three. If it doesn't fight in a phase, now bear in mind, your turn and your opponent's turn it gives you two opportunities to have a fight you you will lose this and it will go back down to zero um there are obviously ways of triggering this early so if you do have a scal veteran with the unit that are within combat range or you can basically get him to charge first go in and then he can pop that ability and then any any agridon units within 12 inches of him can then give them a rage token before they even fight so you can already get up to four attacks straight away and then at the end of that fight phase you get an additional one because you've just fought in the in the um, the combat phase in the fight phase so you'll be straight up to two so now you're up to five attacks each which is really cool i think at one point i, I had one round of combat against nurgle where i had them up to the maximum of three 
Um, and they would like, I was doing the Agrodons first and I wasn't even rolling the dice for the riders because everything was dead before the, um, the riders could even like actually just roll their dice, which is kind of awesome. But they are really, really, really good. Now, there are other, always, obviously other ways of um, improving this, and it literally is improving the actual mount itself. So another one of the traits, the battle traits, you can give crit two hits, which means if you get this up to six attacks, you roll a lot of sixes and you have the crit two hits, it means that every one of those sixes is popping an additional hit, you, you're starting to get a lot of attacks, a lot of hits coming through, and you're wounding on a 3+, plus, which is, it just starts getting really, really crazy. If you make this unit an entourage unit, and you're getting plus one to hit and plus one to wound against um, on other entourage units in the General's Regiment, you can really start seeing where these buffs are starting to come and how just how effective they are on the battlefield. Um, throughout my five games of the GT, I only lost this unit once, and through every every other game they even in fact even the game where i eventually lost them they killed a lot and the previous video against the paladors from the stormcast these guys went up against six of them and absolutely wrecked them um to the point where they had to run away and then i eventually got the charge back onto them again and then wiped them out um they really are solid and they're probably one of the best units in the seraphon army um, I would probably rate them as probably one of the best cavalry units in the game right now. Uh, they're fast, they're hard hitting, they just have a serious amount of dice to pump out per attack, and that gets progressively better throughout the game. And there's a myriad of buffs that you can put onto them which affect the rider and mainly the mount. So yeah, one of the cool things I like doing is getting a wizard and firing plus one rend onto it because it's really funny rolling those agrodons in on the charge with all our attack hitting on threes wounding on threes and then being plus or minus three rend and then two damage a piece you you're just you're just going to smash stuff um and they're absolutely brilliant for 210 points now enjoy it while it lasts i've got a funny feeling that when we eventually do get the balance slit these are probably going to go up to about 220 to 230 points but until then roll your units um i am probably going to look at a army that is primarily made up of these probably running at least two units of six maybe see if i can stretch it out to three and then using a big carnosaur hero and a slan you need a slan um but yeah absolutely brilliant so these are definitely on the hotness list so if there's any other hotness units that you think i should be covering leave me a, a comment in the uh, below I will be covering the Andrasta because, yes, she is a, a literal missile. A very glass cannon, but she literally should kill whatever she hits. Um, and I will obviously be doing another unit from the Seraphon. And there's also um, quite a few people asking for Gisales from the Skaven as well. So we'll be looking at them and we'll be just be continuing rolling these out as we see the mental units. All right. So that's the video. If you like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, share, and do all of that good stuff. And check out my members areas. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.